Ciao friends! Beth with the Little Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today is Green Square Day for our Harry Styles patchwork cardigan from the J.A.W. Anderson people. And remember that is a knit pattern and I am not a knitter. I was never very good at it. I, I tried when I was little but I didn't know what the name of any of the stitches were anyway. My crochet hook is my friend so I looked at a picture of Harry Styles wearing this iconic sweater and was just looking at every square going okay what would I make that into if I were just using my crochet stitches instead of knit stitches that I do not know. I have chosen a stitch for the green one which is right here. Right here. Trying to make everything as beginner friendly as possible. You'll learn a new stitch today and you'll be able to make part of the awesome cardigan that everybody wants. I have to make two. Two of my girls want one, so I have to make two sweaters. So I got a lot of squares to make, but we're going to make the green one today. So let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. This stitch is an Elizabeth or a mini bean stitch. See, see it's lumpy. It's got texture. It's really fun. It's very nice. It's really, really simple, but it looks it looks more complicated than it really is. So you're going to love this. And remember, I made the base of all six of my squares exactly the same, so they're going to be easy to line up right here when it's time to connect everything. The sides will be a different story, but this is always going to be able to line up. Made everything the same width. They're all the same 19 wide, so that they will line up very nicely when it's time to attach everything, which we'll do after we have all of our squares done, which is a little while from now. So I am using Big Twist Value from Joann's and it's a four weight, really soft. I love this stuff. It's really, really nice. has a great price point too. So I like to make everything beginner friendly and often with a very economical yarn. So if you're just learning, you're not having this huge investment. And the color is Varsity Green. Making everything about approximately five and a half by six and a half approximately. They're not exact but they're very very close. I worked for quite some time to get the stitch counts right and using the right stitches and using the right hook. So for the green Elizabeth mini bean stitch we're going to use a five millimeter hook. Here's my five millimeter prims, one of my babies, one of my favorite things in the world. And we're going to do a slip knot on our hook and chain 20. Chain loosely because we're going to work in the little back bumps. Nineteen and twenty. There's our chain of twenty. Now we'll take our chain and just turn it over and you're going to see all these little bumps on the back. We want to do a single crochet into each one of those back bumps. So for chain of 20, we're going to end up with 19 single crochets in the back bumps of our chain. 19 single crochets. There's number 18 and 19. There we go. There's our baseline. This is going to be the base for everything. For all six of the squares, this is our base. This is where we start. Now I'm going to start my Elizabeth stitch or what uh, some people call a mini bean. So the Elizabeth stitch or the mini bean stitch, they both are the same stitch. They're just two different names. So what I'm going to do is chain two, one, two, turn my work and skip two stitches. Skip this very first stitch right here and the next one. And we're going to go into this third stitch, grab our yarn, yarn over, yarn over, go through one more time. So we have four loops on our hook. Now we're going to pull through everything, chain one to close, and then we're going to skip the next stitch and do that exactly the same thing again. So exactly the same thing. We're going to go into, after we skip, we're going to go into this stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through one more time, 
four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through everything, and chain one to close our little puff. Do that again. Skip one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through that same stitch again. We have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one to close. All the way down. So we'll do that again. There's the skip, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and do that one more time. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through, and chain one to close. And there's my last stitch. There's two stitches left. Skip this one and go to the very last stitch and do that exact same thing again. We go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull up, yarn over and do that one more time. Pull up. We have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four of those loops, chain one to close. To do that one more time, we're going to chain another one because we always want to start out with two chains. And we turn our work, and then where we want to work our little mini bean Elizabeth stitches is not in our chain space over here, but we want to work right here in this little corner, right in here. So there's our mini bean stitch, and right here there's a little corner, little corner opening. That's where we want to work. So we're going to do that mini bean stitch again, the Elizabeth stitch again. I go in our stitch, pull through and pull up, yarn over, go in, pull through and up, four loops on our hook. Pull through everything, chain one to close. Now we're going to go over to the next Elizabeth stitch in that same little triangle corner. It's kind of in the side of your stitch. It's kind of in the side. We're going to do that again. Four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one to close. Again, that little corner right here, the side of our mini bean or our Elizabeth stitch. And almost done with the second row. Yarn over twice, so we have four loops on our hook. Pull through, chain one to close. Almost done. Get down to this end. The very end, right in here, is where we want to do our last bead, or our last Elizabeth. So exactly the same thing that we have been doing. All right, now all of our stitches are going to be a lot easier to find because we've done a pass e each direction. So our Elizabeth or our mini bean stitch is complete on both sides. So in order to get this big, we want to do 16 rows of our mini bean or our Elizabeth stitch. We're going to do 16 rows. I've already done two. I'll show you one more time. Chain two, turn your work, and we want to work right in here, right in that little corner, not in the big space, in the smaller space on the side of the hook, or on the side of the stitch. Go in, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on our hook, chain one to close. So the first two rows are a little bit sneakier to try to find exactly where you wanted to put your hook. Because we were just starting, we didn't have everything complete. But now we've done two passes, so we're all good. We want to do a total of 16 rows. We did two. I'm working on three. I will meet you back here when I get done with my 16 rows of Elizabeth stitch. Right here I have only two left. Chain one to close. And there is my last one. Four loops on my hook. Pull through. Chain one to close turn our work. We don't have to chain two. We already chained one, which is sufficient because our last row is just a row of single crochet to make it look just like this first row, just like all of our other squares. All of the other designs have exactly the same starting and ending point. And then all of my squares, all of my rectangles, technically they're rectangles, have the same base and the same end, the same ending line and the same baseline, so they're going to be nice and easy to 
to attach to each other when it's time to construct our sweater. So our very last row is a single crochet all the way down in every stitch. So that would be 19 single crochets all the way down. And there's my very last one. My last stitch. Now you can finish off and pull through. And again we are approximately five and a half wide by approximately six and a half tall. 19 wide here, 19 wide here, so they're all going to fit together very, very professionally, very nicely when it is time to construct our sweater. So make 16 of your green squares and meet me back here next week. We'll do another color. I have all six of them ready to go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.